there are days where like you don't want to trade right. or you, you feel like you're not in line with what you should do and right. those days are tough so is it a rule for yourself that like you don't trade those days or you find a way to get you, get yourself back in the zone I try to get myself back in the zone, but it doesn't happen all the time. Yeah. Uh, and those days, I don't trade. It's it's almost like you want uh, everything to line up in your brain, right? Yeah. Like your mind, your trading, and your opportunity. Everything needs to line up perfectly. I'm like, okay, now I can trade. Yeah. You know? So it, it's sort of like that. Uh, but if I don't have those things lined up, there there is uh, there's a feeling of I'm 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 gonna lose today because I I can feel uh, I'm not at my A game, mm-hmm. or at least the first few trades are gonna be losses. So yeah. so. And the same way, there are days like this where I feel the same about sometimes trading, but sometimes just business and work. Mm-hmm. And I force myself to work sometimes, but then I make right. mistakes. Right. In my trading, I'm more like disciplined of like, I don't trade or I just like do something different. Mm. But when I work, I make a mistake with that. So it's, I think, a really good way to kind of stop and reflect back and just take a step back to maybe come back the next day better. Yeah. Better form. And, and and I think that's very important. You, you know, whether you 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 know you think of this as a new age mumbo jumbo uh, of meditation yeah. and all this stuff, whatever it may be. In the past, they called it being in the flow. Today, they call it meditation. You want to take it ancient times? They say focus. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever label you give it throughout time, it's just a matter of being there for your charts, right? So um, if you can get that to a point where you know you're there. Uh, then then trading will become a little bit more easier for you because you can notice the little subtle changes in the market that you need to adapt to. Mm-hmm. So, And how would that look like for you? What would you do to get to that level? You mean like physically? Like if I'm doing some kind of like yoga or something so, like that? So you do like meditation <laughs> or yoga or is it just like um, I, I, I don't, exercise perhaps? I, I, I do stretching. I don't do yoga. Uh, I, do, I do meditation uh, sometimes twice a day if need be. Um, there is a little trick that I do. Uh, if I'm not in my A game and I still trade and then I lose uh, and then I win and then I lose and I still feel I'm not in my A game, but then I, I use the power of you know sleep, come back the next day and see if you're okay. Because the sleep breaks the emotional cycle when you sleep and you wake up. But if you sleep and you wake up and you're reconflicted with the same emotions from yesterday, you're in trouble. You know, There's mm-hmm. something wrong in your life that you need to fix regardless. But if you sleep and you wake up and you're like, I feel good now, the emotions are all gone, you know, then you can sit down to trade. Sometimes even that doesn't fix it for me. So what I do is then I start to wake up at three o'clock in the morning. Okay. I do that and I start my day at three. The whole city is sleeping. You obviously you know, see the skyline here. Mm-hmm. It's like a billion people in front of my eyeballs here. But I wake up when the whole city is sleeping and I look at it like the world is now in my hands and I need to really do what I need to do. Everything's quiet, there's no noise, everyone's sleeping, uh, and then I get back to my rhythm. So I might wake up in the morning and still not feel it, and I'll play video games. Three o'clock in the morning, I'll play video games, uh, just to relax or do something, or I'll take a, a long shower, and then go hot, hot shower, cold shower, hot shower, cold shower, just to like spark the body, wake up, wake up, you know, like focus. Uh, and then I get back into my A game. Uh, so I'll do that for like a week. I'll wake up at three, go to bed at seven, wake up at three, go to bed at seven. Uh, I'll do that until I get my rhythm or mojo back, if you want to call it. Uh, and that works for me. That's my, my personal uh, approach to it. Nice. So, so something people could try, perhaps. They, or, they, they can. It but works. they have to find what works, works, what works for them Absolutely. As well. Absolutely. Everyone's unique. You, you, mm. you know, I can't say this works for me, so here's a blueprint. Copy this exactly. Yeah. It's going to work for you. It, maybe it won't. You know? So uh, you can definitely try it and see if it's for you. Yeah. Same thing goes with adding strategies in trading. So a lot of people that we talk about before, they want to copy what you do right. or they want to copy what I do sometimes. Right, right. And I force them to kind of adapt the strategies or the strategies they learn to them. Right, right. Have you seen your students kind of adapt what you teach them also to themselves? And how do they, how do, they do it exactly? Um, I notice most, unfortunately, most cannot adapt. So I actually make my courses in such a way where I force them to adapt. Um, you know, it sounds, you know, communist. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, I, I do it in a way where it's subconsciously happening. You know, I, I love teaching as well. Uh, so it, it's sort of a thing I incorporate. So it's not all about do you have the knowledge. It's can you teach that knowledge to a point where how much time, how, how quickly can you turn that student to be like, got it, aha. You know, like I just had my moment. I understood what he's saying. So I take that upon as a challenge as well. Like how, how fast can I turn that uh, aha moment? Uh, uh, so 
yeah, I, I, I forced them. I forced them by delaying the next course. I forced them by saying uh, I need to see some examples. I forced them in all different ways uh, where uh, many times I'll teach backwards. Well, I'll start with something complex and then I'll work my way backwards. And then when they get the basics, they're like, oh, it all makes sense now. I can see why the advanced stuff, uh, you know, how it all fits in like a Lego piece. Uh, so, if you, you know, so that, that's my approach to it.